Okay, here's my uh, new locomotive. I got it at uh, BRC Hobbies out of Phoenix, Arizona. It, uh, it was about $64 altogether with shipping and tax. And uh, ordered it Monday and got it today. He shipped it out Tuesday, so that was uh, really quick shipping and, and uh, Postal Service did good on that one. Okay, uh, this is a U28C um, with uh, BN colors on it. It was originally a uh, CB and Q engine, number 563. Uh, it was built in uh, two of 66, and it was eventually retired in five of 81. Um, this particular model here, or the original, was basically a U25C body that's uh, 64 feet, six inches long. Um, but this is uh, an upgraded version of the engine, more or less. It's got uh, 2,800 horsepower and uh, 3,500 gallons of fuel. Yo. But anyway, uh, I've ran this motor a little bit, as you'll see in some coming up clips here. Um, it's very well detailed. I was able to take some really good photographs of it. But let's start off. It comes in a, a nice jewel case, of course, um, well packaged. Uh, and it also comes with the side shields, uh, sun visors. But anyway, uh, this particular model, uh, original, didn't have them on it so I don't think I'll put them on there although also on the original it was a single windshield on top where this is like it says in the instructions here uh, that this is a phase 3b well this the original was a phase 1a uh, the phase 1b had the split uh, windshields on it but it comes with a nice parts list and detailed parts schematic and on the other side is the disassembly instructions there is also a video on YouTube of a guy who knows how to take one apart and I'll post it in the links down below and there's some more graphics of the locomotive and it also comes with some locomotive operating and maintenance instructions clean your track television warning all right enough of that all right uh, like I said I ran this locomotive a little bit probably it probably went around the track uh, upper track 20 25 times or so I was able to pull 21 cars uh, on the steep part of my layout before it really started slipping if I back that down to 18 it still slips just ever so slightly but it does make it up so it's a pretty good puller um, underneath side here uh, it does have a traction wheel on each end one here and I think that's the, the other one there it looks like yep and it's got it's very well detailed it's got some it is missing a couple of stickers that were on the actual one that would be in about right in the middle right there but other than that and I did see a photograph where this plaque the U28C plaque was torn off it does have the original two front light uh, 
the number of boards are lit on both ends. The headlight itself is directional, but the number of boards will stay lit on both ends. It's got uh, some really fine handrails on it and the hoses up front there. It's not a kitty coupler, but it's one of them spring couplers. It's got some pretty nice details on it. Get you some more of the cab there. And it's got the location device and the horn up here. The opposite end here. Got a nice looking chain. They have uh, 5666 also available in N scale and 5656 I think is the other one. Um, they all represent, uh, uh, well, one of, another one represents CB and Q and another one represents a Norfolk Southern that's been painted in BN colors. Other than that, this is a pretty good runner. It's pretty heavy. I'm not going to get into the technical motor details and everything. Um, I'm not going to tear it apart. It is kind of a pita to tear apart. You got to basically take the couplers out. There's a screw there. Screw here. There's four screws all together you got to take off. It seems like it's a nice heavy locomotive. Like I says, it pulls plenty of cars. It's quiet. It's really quiet. It took about, uh, it was a little stiff the first couple runs around. Well, actually just probably the first run around really. Um, other than that, it ran, it ran really good. Um, I ran it around about five times and then I hooked some cars up to it. And I hooked up uh, 15 to start with, pulled it no problem. So I hooked up uh, 21 and that's when she started to slip. There's a little bell there on the on the side. But I I like this motor.